Alrighty, good evening everybody. Golden Scales here again. It has been a while since my last uh, post on YouTube. Uh, just to keep you apprised of what's happening. Um, right, going back to when um, I made that uh, video about that guy uh, coming to interview me about... Um, yeah, well... <laughs> well, I got the magazine, finally. He uh, broke his promise. He said he was going to send me a mag send me one of the magazines, so uh, uh, New Zealand Wilderness magazine, and uh, let me know. Well, he broke that promise. I had to go and buy my own. Um, there it is. And uh, the five-page um, article that he did with, with photographs, Survive the Apocalypse, What's Driving the Growing Popularity of Bush Survivalism? Well, it was not exactly what you'd call in-depth. He just skimmed the surface of it. Um, he interviewed quite a few others, which, okay, I can, um, you know, I know I wasn't the only one. What really annoyed me was that, um, okay, I didn't get a mention. He didn't actually use anything that I said, and yet he was here for, what, hour and a half, two hours, talking to me, asking questions. Um, bloody annoying, bloody annoying. However, never mind, over and done with, it's in the past, bye-bye. Right, now, I um, got a visit from Kylie. Excellent dude, Kylie. Hi, mate. Hi. Um, he came around um, bearing gifts. Um, I just, like when he said he was going to offer the knife, I just um, thought, okay, well, it's just going to be a knife. Well, it was more than that. Um, this is a hone that, ooh, okay. Man, I'll tell you what, when he does something, he does it properly, which I can understand. However, and do -do. ah here we go right i'm not too he did i think he did tell me what it was made out of but um that's the uh that's the steel he says it's much better than a um uh steel that you buy at the shops you know like a butcher's steel that sort of thing bloody marvelous excellent i like it i like that a lot okay so we'll put that away Okay, case XX select or I don't know case twenty knife. Right now, here's a little wee, little wee knife. Quite a solid leather sheath. I love leather sheaths. I'm I'm, I'm old school. Kylie got that right. I am old school, mate. I love the old style stuff. The, um, oh, I'll tell you what, mate, look at that. Beautiful, isn't it? Give you an all round view of it. Ah, uh, <laughs> apparently the, um, uh, the, the, um, uh, the liners, um, the butt, and there is, um, is, it's not brass, it's, um, Oh crap, I can't think of it. <laughs> Just stand by, alright? Uh, no, don't fear all, I've got a sh very sharp knife on my lap. Okay, the inners, bolsters and pins of your knife have been fashioned out of, oh, been fashioned not of brass, but of nickel silver. The scales on the handle have been crafted of the most coveted natural materials in the world. Whoa. Okay, the blades of your knife have been crafted with true sharp steel, a special high carbon stainless cutlery steel much in demand among manufacturers of fine surgical instruments. This choice material will hold its edge longer than controversial, st controversial steel affording extraordinary blade strength and corrosion resistance. Yes, boy. I love it. Oh, that is a good little good little bush knife it's got um, the um, finger what do they call those choils finger yeah them thing you know what I'm talking about okay oh I hate it when that happens 
Oh, like Dr. Bishop and Fringe. I know what I want to say, but... Alrighty, okay. That. Oh, is a beautiful knife. It's... It's got... A, it's actually got a quite a good... Um, good weight to it. Good little Skinner. Good little cat knife, maybe. Ooh, that is nice. Thank you, Charlie. I really appreciate it, buddy. I really do. Mmm. Oh, that is lovely, yes. Okay, and, um, you know that, um, sharpening doodah that he was having problems with? Well, aha, here it is. Yeah, I'll just have a play around with it. Um, he, Charlie says to me, or oh, why don't I get a, get a length of wood? And glue these, take the take the old glue off, and re-glue them on. So I have a little like a little paddle type of thing. Oh, yeah, that would be a bloody good idea, eh? So uh, I've never used one of these before. I can't wait to try it out. Bloody nice. Charlie is a good man. Good man. I tell you what, he's bloody tall. I mean, I stand six foot three in my socks, and it feels like he towers over me. He's got to be six four, six four and a half, easy. He, he is a tall bugger, mate. Tall. But apart from that, he's he's a good man with a good heart. I really appreciate this. I'll, I'm going to look after this. Very nice. Very nice. Alrighty, well, a big hello to um, all my friends and subscribers. Uh, you all know who you are. Stony Brook Bushcraft, Survive N2, um, Meat Man Gary. Uh, Gary, send me a um, send me an email. Um, I've changed my uh, Facebook page, and I've tried looking you up on uh, on Facebook, but um, can't seem to find you. But however, okay, Gary, PM me, mate, PM me. Alrighty, okay, um, to those who didn't get a mention, hello, <laughs> I hope you're all doing well, um, it's been uh, a real interesting time, okay, March 31st, I turned 49, and, um, hello Feral, and, uh, oh, okay, come on, come and say hello, I mean, look at this big boy, he's getting massive, and he's still a kitten, still a kitten, hello everyone, <laughs> Oh boy, he wasn't impressed with that. Um, yeah, well, for, being 49, I mean, uh, there's everything runs in cycles of seven. Um, you know, like the seven rays, yada yada yada. If you're into metaphysics, you know what I'm talking about. And uh, yeah, seven times seven, 49. So this has got to be a really good year for me. Oh, I can't wait to see what it brings. Oh, oh, now I can see properly. Um, they're great for reading, but, mm. So, uh, nothing much has changed or out of the ordinary. Um, oh, maybe somebody in YouTube land can help me. I have, when I was a, uh, a forest warden over on Waiheke Island, um, this bottle here was sticking out of the ground. Um, I think about that much was showing and it was full of dirt and, and roots and stuff like that. It had been there for quite a long time. And um, on the bottom of it, after I cleaned it up, it's got CG and Company Limited, and the number's 1166 1166. If I, could pr if I could prove that that bottle is as old as what... Um, I mean, bloody hell, 1166, I don't know, maybe that's just the maker's mark, maybe that's just a batch number, I have no idea, but it's, it's an old bottle, it is an old bottle, yeah. okay, so if anybody can help me out with that, I would appreciate it, I think that not far from where I found this bottle is a grave, it, there wasn't anything to say that there was a grave there, but it's just... I just had a feeling that there was somebody buried not far from it. There was a body buried there. Not a new one, not in this century. 
definitely not okay well there we go that is that um well hmm no can't think of anything else alrighty folks um thank you for watching you're all appreciated you're very very appreciated and god bless you and i'll uh, catch up later cheers Thank you.